I go to war, you come with me. Absolutely bullied Chelsea that game. His mum still buys his trousers. I would have never have thought <laughs> they would have gone and signed him. Even the benches were up applauding him. Through the middle on his own strength, skill. So, 17, he tweeted this earlier, Cesc Fabregas, 17 years ago today, he made his professional debut for the Arsenal, and he was only 16. Ridiculous. His mum still buys his trousers. 16. Incredible. Um, and uh, he went on to have a pretty decent career, didn't he, Cesc Fabregas? And I, do you know what I think about Cesc Fabregas? Actually underrated. Yeah, I, I would say that. Um, I, I mean... I mean, use respect for him. Taking a penalty with a broken leg. I still can't get over <laughs> and it. And scoring it. And scoring it. And then limping off. And then being I think hated I brought by the leg. Arsenal fans he scored for. Yeah, I think I broke my leg. But I scored first. <laughs> Just incredible. <laughs> but he was a fantastic footballer. Uh, uh, and, and, and when you look at his stats, whether it be goals, you look at his appearances, you look at his assists, his first in two of them, right? His goals, he's fifth in the list of uh, Spanish footballers that have played uh, in the Premier League. Excellent uh, footballer. Um, so there's been some good ones, haven't they? I mean, if you go for a short period, and the reason I said that at the top of the show, uh, for those who weren't listening, um, I just said, do you go for longevity? Because if you go in longevity, I mean, it's between two... Well, if we're not counting the goalkeepers, um, we go for... Well, we'll get on to that in a moment. Yeah, go on. it's Fabregas or, or Silva, isn't it? Uh, David Silva, the two that stand out uh, for me. But when you go for short periods, uh, there's Alonso at Liverpool, was absolutely out of this world for me. Torres, when he was at Liverpool, and slightly spoilt when he went to Chelsea. And Diego Costa for the short period at Chelsea. Well, does it does it matter really how long you're there? I think it does because, like I said, we get blinded by longevity, don't we? Yeah, exactly. But that, that's what I'm saying. You sometimes think, oh, well, they were here a long time, so they must have been really good. Th that's what I mean. And, and uh, you do with stats, though. Stats tell a story, Aid. And, and the more games you play, it means you're obviously a very good player for a long period of time. But you might have only been at the real top for probably two or three seasons. Mm. But because you played eight seasons, you know what I mean? People get blinded by that. And, and I said, Torres, for that short period at Liverpool, oh, my word. He was I mean, I've never yeah. seen anything like that. Yeah, but the, the, you say it was sport, the Chelsea thing, and he didn't play anywhere near as well. But he won a lot of stuff, it, and, 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 and the fans loved goals, him. Yeah. And the fans loved him because they saw he give his all. It was just amazing, really, to be that good at Liverpool, score the goals he did, then for it to dry up like it did at Chelsea. I, I, I'd love to ask him why does he think that happened? Mm. Uh, because he was such, such a good player. Um, but Fabregas, excellent, Silva. I would expect most people who call in to probably say silver. Hang on, am I right in saying Fernando Torres was on Talk Sport fairly recently, wasn't he? And I can remember hearing it, and he talked about why it didn't go so well at Chelsea. So we may try and wow. dig that out for you. So you wanted to ask it, but somebody else has asked it, so Good. we will find that for you. But I think the um, I, I think this is interesting because I, I would always ask the question, your favourite. Spanish player. If you're looking at a, a best Spanish player, a lot of people are tweeted in saying, David Silva, end of debate, move on. Well, that's not necessarily everybody's favourite. You could easily argue the best. You yeah. could argue others are the best as well. You could say Cesc Fabregas was the best. Some of the p football Fabregas played, I thought particularly at Chelsea rather than Arsenal, I thought was utterly magnificent. But look at the clubs he played for. He played for Arsenal uh, when they were like, you know, it wasn't the, their peak yeah. era, but he was the best player without a doubt. Then he goes to Barcelona. Plays for Spain as well, and then goes to Chelsea and wins stuff. It's sensational. Played as a false nine yeah. for Spain. Um, played at Chelsea. Um, his assists are off the scale, over 100, well over 100. So, fantastic footballer, Fabregas. But you know, with Fabregas, we, and why I say underrated is, of course people rate him, but if you're having a conversation about who the very best players the Premier League's ever seen... You never really talk about Cesc Fabregas, and maybe he should be in that conversation. Mm. Um, we'll get to keepers in a second, but my number one... Did you say you are number one? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Um, I'm going to go for the short period. I'm going to go Torres. Okay. Liverpool just... I've never seen anything like that. The impact he had immediately it was just out of this world. It was, and I, I remember the move to Chelsea. It was the last day of the window, wasn't it? And mm. the Liverpool fans were just besides themselves. They could not believe their hero. They had a great song for him as well. I remember a Liverpool fan calling in and singing the song. 
because I pretended I didn't know what the words were. So I said, somebody tell us the words. He came in and sang, came on and sang it. It was brilliant. But he was stunning. Truly, st he took your breath away at Liverpool, Fernando Torres. But it was such a short period. I'm mean, now to say, if you go in longevity, silver is very hard to, yeah. to, to beat. And when you what, said what he did at Manchester City, some of his skill, everything about it was out of this world. When you said Xabi Alonso, was he? I thought he was at Liverpool for five years. But he was. Is that long, is exactly, that long enough? Or? Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, listen, Alonso used to love watching. And look at the clubs he's played for, by the way, and the managers that have rated him. Mm. He was a close, he was a close second. Um, so my, two Liverpool players, really. My number one, it was... I loved watching David Silva, but I've gone for Diego Costa because he had that edge about him. And I'm, I'm almost reluctant to because obviously he was born in Brazil but played for Spain, <laughs> so I, I do appreciate that. Um, but I'm, I'm putting him down as Spanish because he was a Spanish international. But Of course. The three seasons, three full seasons he had at Chelsea were beyond belief. The impact he had... Won two titles. One, two times, scored so many goals. But he also, it was, he put the fear of God into all defenders, didn't he? Anybody playing against him. And made every opposition hate him. Yeah. The fans of the opposition hated him. Well, there's a story that the first time he met John Terry and he arrived at uh, Chelsea, Diego Costa, he said to him these words, I go to war, you come with me. Come on. I mean, if you're John Terry and you hear that, it warms your heart, uh, doesn't it? Well, they had a right battle. I was at the game when he played for Atletico Madrid against Chelsea. I was at that game mm. and Costa bullied him. He absolutely bullied Chelsea that game. I'll <laughs> never forget it. And then they went and signed him. And after the way he carried on that game against Chelsea, I would have never have thought <laughs> they would have gone and signed him. It, and they did. He was amazing. Just, a, I think he was great to watch. He had that devil about him. Still does. Uh, and there is a fear among Chelsea fans, you know, that he's going to sign for Tottenham. That's the fear, uh, and help them get the title. Really? I know. Yeah. No, nah, he's not going to Tottenham now. They've 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 got the dream footballer. Uh, if you're listening after one game, everybody's talking about Vinicius as being the dream footballer. <laughs> play number ten, play out wide, play through the middle on his own strength, skill. Goals. I mean, he didn't Mate, score, did he? The way Spurs fans talk about their players, they'll be winning everything. He did have season. a good game, but yeah, let's not get too carried away. Let's see him playing all these different positions he could possibly be playing. When Kane is not in that side, it's slightly different. Um, let me mention a couple of others that I thought about. I don't think you could argue that they were the best, but you could easily say they were your favourites and, and they deserve a little mention in this debate. Um, I mentioned this guy to Kevin Nolan when I interviewed him on Friday for game day. Uh, Fernando Iera at Bolton could play centre-back, could play midfield. He was such a leader. He was there a very short space of time. And there was a game where he came... I can't remember what, which game it was, but he played for Bolton and he played about 70 minutes and he got a stand innovation coming off. He was that good. Even the benches were up applauding him. Uh, Mendieta at Middlesbrough I thought was really good as well. Before that he was exceptional at Valencia, but he he was at Middlesbrough in that golden time when they got to a mm. European final, etc. Uh, Aspilicueta at Chelsea. You talk about longevity, he's, he's there and yep. a, a leader as well. And I really like Bojan. You know, he was at Stoke. And had he not got injured, he could he, he could have become a real Stoke legend, but he got a bad injury at Rochdale in the Cup and it just uh, ended his career fundamentally at the top level. Uh, a couple of tweets here. Scott says, no mention of matter. He's been brilliant. He's won every, literally won yeah, everything, hasn't he? I think he's another one that uh, has had a great um, time of it in the Premier League. Been a fantastic player at times. And that year at Chelsea, he was outstanding. The problem is, since then, he got frozen out by Chelsea, went to Manchester United, and he's never really had a run mm. since he's been at Manchester United. So it's, it's slightly spoiling his reputation, isn't it? Mm. He's had a great career. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. And now he's just got back in the side at Man United and, and playing some good football. He does deserve a mention. You say year at Chelsea. He was Chelsea Player of the Year two years running, 2011, 12 and, and 12, 13. Uh, and I did say he won everything. He hasn't actually won the Premier League title, believe it or not. He's, he's he? won everything else. I know. It's incredible. Uh, but he's won everything else. So, yeah, terrific footballer. Yeah. You know, he absolutely should be in the conversation. No question. Uh, Paul says, uh, you can't not include the one season one to meet you. <laughs> and he scored a bag full of goals for Swansea. They won the League Cup. He scored a couple of goals against Chelsea in the semi-final that nobody thought they would win. The influence on, on a season then, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Well, in terms of that season, you ask Swansea fans who their favourite Spaniard is, it's going to be me too, isn't it? Um, one Leeds uh, fan has said Pablo Hernandez. 
Yet Arteta? To, yet to do it in the Premier League, I think. Arteta? Arsenal fans? Would it? No. Oh, he's laughed at that one. Play some good football at times. Come on. Uh, Danny says, the streets won't forget that year. Michu was unplayable for Swansea. <laughs> he's getting a lot of votes. Uh, and uh, a Spurs fan says, Soldado. What do you think? Really? I mean, that's got to be some sort of joke. <laughs> kind of. Uh, who have we missed out? Please let us know. Uh, very quickly on the goalkeepers. I always maintain goalkeepers aren't proper footballers. You could have a separate goalkeeper debate, but there's one very special Spanish goalkeeper who should be in this conversation, and that's Kepa Aretha. No, that's uh, David De Gea, isn't it? David De Gea, of course. He was number one in the world, wasn't he? Best keeper in the world at one point. Manchester United Player of the Year. What was it, three years in a row or something? Or four years in a row? So, yeah, absolutely should be in there. He's uh, in he's the performed. debate. He's performed without a doubt. Who have we missed out? Give us a shout. And if if you think we've got it all wrong, then let us know. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four.